Hello everyone, this is Goldfish Gaming, and we're gonna play some Sonic Time Twisted. So I've already played a bit of this game, so I generally understand what's going on with it. It's a really fun game, I must say. So, there are quite a few fun little gimmicks with this game. Now, I'm not sure if it supports controllers, but if it does, I'm probably gonna switch to a controller. It's a really fun Sonic game. And Super Peel Out, which is super cool, I think, at least. And it's not just going in one direction. Plus, the special stages are really fun. I just wish I was I could find I could get to all of them. But they are some pretty great special stages. And I died. <laughs> I'm not all that great at the special stages. Well, Ugh. one nice thing about the special stages is you can earn elemental shields from them, which is super cool. Plus, the uh, signs aren't as annoying to work. Plus, there's a new elemental shield, but it's more of just an ability and not really a shield. Super peel out's probably the best way to go if you ever want to get up somewhere. Yeah, it's probably one of the best uh, Sonic 2D fan games. It is definitely at least on par with the uh, mobile port of Sonic 2. <coughs> However, it's a very loud game. <laughs> It's at like the lowest volume where you can still hear things, but it's still super loud. Also, these cutscenes are interesting, to say the least. I will say that. Also, Metal Sonic. 
With a fire shield, he's a joke. And now I don't have the fire shield, so I'm probably gonna lose. He is certainly a thing. He kind of is pretty fun. And then the game just goes silent. <laughs> also, that happens. One nice thing about these... Sonic games. It's, they're easy to record a bunch in an, a 10 minute setting. Which is super good since I can only record 10 minutes. <laughs> I hate this. I hate the springs in Sonic games. <laughs> I really like that this is the, uh, can't remember the name of it, but it's the, like how the super speed ability is the main song of, uh, of, oh yeah, this boss exists and he is not fun. It's best to get behind him, because then he can't hit you. Then he just sort of goes off s screen and comes back. I can never time the jumps for that, <clears throat> but it's sort of a fun boss. It probably is more fun than any of the bosses are going to be in Sonic Mania. Plus, there's a very distinct lack of Eggman in this game. Dr. Robotnik. Oh, I got stuck. I got stuck inside of the boss. Okay. That's never happened to me before. It's sort of a rinse and repeat boss. Not sure if hitting him in the back actually does damage or not. Probably doesn't. I'm probably going to pad out the video length by doing this. But eventually you get him down. It's sort of fun. Then you get the flowers. But it's, this is a fun game. This is probably gonna be a, like a random cutoff or something. But that's to be expected with my videos. So, we will see you in the next episode. Bye.